This seller just tried to steal $40,000 from me. What's up, folks? Now, I want to jump right into this, man, because, whew, this, uh, this rubs me the wrong way, and it's also going to be a nice cautionary tale with a nice little uh, bit of advice for you guys on how you can avoid somebody trying to steal 40 k from you, right? So uh, we are approached by a seller who's got this condo they'd like to sell us, okay? They want to sell it dirt cheap because this bad boy caught on fire, right? So we go out there, we check it out, right? And as you can see, uh, the interior, you know, <clears throat> caught on fire. They tried doing a little bit of work here, and it uh, looks like they just had to stop it, uh, you know, partially through. We are assuming maybe they ran out of money, right? So there's a lot of work that needs to happen to this condo, but, you know, that's what we do here at Holton Wise, right? We buy houses, okay? And this could have been a pretty good deal for us, right? So what we ended up doing is we negotiated a purchase price of $5,000. These folks, they just wanted to get rid of this condo. And we had a lot of exit options with this condo, okay? Uh, we were looking at an ARV in the hundred ten dollars to $120,000 range. Uh, if we spent about 60k fixing it all the way up and selling it to an owner occupant as a completely renovated property, perfect for first time home buyers, right? That was one uh, route we could take. Another route we could take is fixing it all the way up and selling it to a real estate investor uh, as a beautiful turnkey rental because. Uh, the rent would be probably about $1,200 here. Or the third option would be to just keep it uh, as a rental for our own personal portfolio, right? And uh, we could either keep it cash or go ahead and do a cash out refinance, right? So everything was looking great with the deal. We had three exit options. Everything was fine. All three of the options would have made us some money, would have solved the seller's problem of getting rid of this property that caught on fire. Now, as you see on the screen, this is a residential property disclosure, and they say that they don't have any knowledge of any uh, liens or encumbrances, yada, yada, yada. And this is the educational part of the show, right? I'm not just on here crying and whining because somebody tried to steal 40 grand from me, right? People try to steal from old and wise all day, every day, right? We got tenants who don't pay rent, this or that. People are always trying to do that, right? So, uh, you know, that's just part of the real estate business, right? In real estate, they say trust but verify. You definitely need to verify in this game, right? Because it seems like everybody's trying to screw you, right? So the, the reason that we found out about this, right, is because as any intelligent investor does, when we buy a property, we are getting a title insurance policy. And that's really the, the point of this video. It's to teach you guys the dangers of things like quit claim deeds, right? If you buy a property with a quit claim deed, folks, what that means is you're going in, you're not running a title search, and you're just buying the property, okay? So in this particular situation we would have bought this property for five thousand dollars had we not run a title search we would have thought we just bought the property from this house for 5k the seller said yeah there's no liens or nothing like that and we would have missed all this stuff that just came out in the preliminary title search right we got 40 freaking thousand dollars of liens that these people of course knew about we got ADS of Cleveland LLC. They got a mechanics lien on there for 2310 The Condos Homeowners Association has a lien for 2088 They also have another one for a little bit over 13 and a half And then they got another one for just over 18 And those are continuing to occur daily late fees and additional fines. So... As we sit right now, we're at the tune of approximately $40,000 that these people lied to us about. So, of course, now we're killing the deal. We are not going to move forward. And your lesson for the day, folks, is always, always, always buy your properties utilizing title insurance. Stay away from those Craigslist cowboys selling properties with quick claim deeds. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.